Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am Afia Jan, an English teacher in a Salem Welkin High Secondary School, Sopor. Today, I am going to tell you a story. The name of story is Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. This story is in the U2 syllabus of class 3. But, before narrating this story, I want to tell you about the difference between fiction and and non-fiction because our this story Aladdin and the magic lamp is a fiction so fiction fiction is a literary work based on imagination rather than on facts and non-fiction is a literary work based on reality it includes biographies, autobiographies, books on business, books on history, etc. Autobiography. Auto means self, bio means life and graphy means study. When you write about yourself, that is called autobiography. And when others write about you, that is called biography. Here, I have given some example of fiction and non-fiction books. See, fiction, Cinderella and Harry Potter. These are the fiction because these stories are not real. They are based on imagination. And Stephen Hawking, I'm Albert Einstein. These are non-fiction because these are based on reality. Let us start our fiction, Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. Aladdin was playing with his friends in the street. A stranger saw him. He liked the boy and thought, This is the kind of boy I want. He is daring and bold. Going up to Aladdin, he said, I am your uncle. Your dead father was my brother. Take me to your house. I am very keen to meet your mother. When they reached the house, the stranger took out some wonderful gifts. He had brought fine clothes, fresh fruits and food. The poor woman was surprised. Here are some gifts for you. I really want to look after my brother's family, said the stranger. Aladdin liked his new clothes and his new uncle. In fact, the stranger was a magician. He was old and sly. He wanted to use Aladdin for his own gain. One evening, Aladdin's so-called uncle took him to a wonderful garden. There, he collected some dry leaves and wood. He lit a fire. The old man threw in some magic powder. At once, everything shook at the ground, caved in. Aladdin could not believe his eyes. Go down the steps, Aladdin. At the end, you will come to a temple in a garden. In a niche, you will find a little lamp burning. Blow out the lamp and bring it to me. The old man told Aladdin. He also gave him a magic ring to keep him from all harm. Aladdin did exactly as he was told. When he went down the narrow steps, he found himself in a cave filled with treasure. He saw a golden tree with fruits of rubies and emeralds. The ground was covered with heaps of gold. Priceless gems and other treasures were scattered about. He put a handful of gems into his pockets. At last, he picked up the 
lamp and came up the steps. It was not easy for Aladdin to climb up the steps with the lamp in one hand. Please help me, uncle, said Aladdin. However, the old man wanted only the lamp. When Aladdin did not give him the lamp, the old man placed a boulder at the opening of the cave and went away. Aladdin sat on the steps and began to cry. By chance, he rubbed the magic ring and behold, a genie stood before him. He said, I am the genie of the ring. Tell me what to do. I can take you wherever you want to go. Take me home said Aladdin, and to his surprise, he soon found himself with his mother. The two were very happy. They sold all gems and lived happily. One day, Aladdin saw the old lamp which he had brought from the cave. It was lying in the corner of the house. Let me clean it, he thought. The minute he rubbed it, a voice roared like thunder. I am the genie of the lamp. I am your slave and you are my master. What do you wish for? Aladdin was surprised. Soon with the help of magic lamp, he became the richest man in his city. He married a princess and lived in a palace. Every wish of his was fulfilled. The power of magician had gone away for some time, but was soon back. This time he had another plan. He took a basket full of lamps and went around, calling out in the streets, Change your old lamp for a new one. Change your old lamp for a new one. One of Aladdin's helpers heard his call. She told the princess, who gave away the old lamp and got new one in exchange. She had no idea that the old lamp was in fact the magic lamp. When Aladdin came back, he realized that the magician had tricked him. However, it was too late. The old man had taken away his palace and the princess too to his own city. Once again, Aladdin took the help of the magic ring. With the help of the genie of the ring, he found the princess. Aladdin bought a powder and asked the princess to mix it in the magician's drink. As soon as magician drank it, he fell unconscious. Aladdin found the magic lamp that the magician had stolen from him and rubbed it. The genie appeared. He asked the genie to bring the palace back to his city which the genie did at once. Aladdin and the princess lived happily for many, many years. Thank you.